Hello learners, welcome to the course MS012 Ecosystem and Natural Resources. Today, I would like to give you a brief overview of this course on its contents. We know that sustainable development is about way of development that tackles about the present generation and future generation. If we look into the basic foundation of sustainable development, we have environment and ecological as one pillar, then society or social pillars as second pillars, and the third pillar is economy. And we usually tag institution is also the fourth pillar. If you look into those pillars, all the pillars are interrelated to each other. And one of the very important pillars, without that, it is very difficult to achieve sustainable development, is environment or ecological foundation. So to manage, to maintain the stock of this ecological foundation because what if the pillars we are talking about, other pillars are directly depend on the stock and status or health of ecological foundation. So we need to follow or we have to utilize the natural resources in a very wise or very wisely. What we can say is that without efficient use of natural resources, our dream of a sustainable planet may not be able to fulfill. The learning principle of this course is to provide opportunity to the learners to deepen their knowledge and understanding about the concept of ecosystem and natural resources. To expand capacities to the learners on various theoretical and practical aspects of sustainable management of natural resources. To develop professional knowledge and skills in biodiversity conservation and natural resource management. And few of the learning outcomes are defining, you will be able to define the concept of ecology, ecosystem and its type is an interdisciplinary learners who may be from different basic academic background but as an interdisciplinary learner you will be able to define in a very simple language about the concept of ecology, ecosystem, its type you will well then understand the ecosystem services, importance of biodiversity, factors responsible for biodiversity loss and the conservation and management of biodiversity. Explain the concept of land, soil, water as a resource form and integrated perspectives. So, the program framework of this course, if we look into the structure of in the, our open distance learning system of IGNO, it will, it will have four blocks. First block on ecosystem biodiversity, second block in is on land and water resources, third block is on energy and mineral resources, block four is on agrobiodiversity. This four block is divided into different units and uh, it will be spread into, if you look into the, uh, that structure requires, will be spread into 12 books. In, block, in week one to week four, the first four weeks, you will learn about ecosystem and biodiversity. In block two, about land and water resources, week five to six, from week seven to nine, energy and mineral resources, about energy and mineral, week uh, 10 to 12, on agrobiodiversity. In this course, there will be four quadrants. 
First scroll down to the on. You will find out the self learning material in PDF format. And that you can download easily. Second, the next button is videos with updated information, including, I mean, related to sustainable development goals. Because if you look into that, when you talk about videos, we are trying to update the that latest progress in that area, which is provided in self learning material through videos. And the videos will be provided with PowerPoint PPT slide you can download. Then third quadrant is on discussion forum. You can use the discussion forum to share, uh, to clear out the, or to share your opinion or to discuss any of the areas which is not able to clear the concept after uh, studying in self learning material or after watching, watching, uh, watching your videos. So you can use that uh, discussion forum. Then the fourth quadrant is evaluation to assignment and term examination. If we go into detail, now block one, as I told you in, I, uh, I'm talking in open distance learning pedagogy, that will be spread over four weeks. Major objective of this block one is to understand about ecology, ecosystem, and its types, and to learn the concept of ecosystem services, importance of biodiversity, factors responsible for biodiversity loss, and conservation and management of biodiversity. So, the first week, when if you look into the study material, you will find out that is on concept of ecosystem. So in this unit, in this week one, you will be, you will be taking to study about concept of ecology, ecosystem, structure and function of typical, different typical ecosystem. In this week also, you will learn an insight about some important ecosystem services and provide information about the impacts of human on ecosystem services. In week two, we are going to learn about biodiversity, its labels, distribution, usage. And when in the process of learning to understand biodiversity, labels, distribution, usage, then you will be able to understand the insight about the concept of biodiversity, its evolution, status, and distribution pattern. Moreover, if you look into the learning material and after watching or, or that different videos, you will find that the main focus of this particular uh, unit uh, in this particular week will be able to know about the importance and the use of biodiversity. In week three, we are going to learn about loss of biodiversity. And in this week and three weeks, in this uh, uh, week three, will take you to the issues of loss of biodiversity, its causes and consequences, the magnitude and pattern of biodiversity loss, and also takes you to the factor responsible for biodiversity loss and its consequences. In week 4, while we are trying to understand the basic concept of biodiversity conservation, you will also learn about approaches and programs of biodiversity conservation, different national and international programs related to biodiversity conservation. In block 2, which is spread over from week 5 to week 6, or land and water resources, it discusses about the concept of land, soil, and water as resources. So, in week 5, you will learn the concept of land as a resource and how unsustainable land use practices is happening 
and the various ways of sustainable land management and the challenges associated with it. At the same time, we will also learn the concept of soil, its characteristics, its formation and the sustainabilities associated related to soils and its problem. Six weeks, you will learn about water, its status, distribution, quality and competitive uses. So in this way, you will learn about the importance of water as a precious resource, its physical and chemical unique properties and different types of water pollution. Information about the consumption impacts water pollution at different scale within states and countries and transboundary issues will also be learned. An insight about the impact of economic development on global water resources, individual and national and international efforts and conflicts uh, that regarding uh, water issues or water sharing will also be learned in this week. Moreover, you will have a brief introduction about what are the impacts of climate change on water resources will also be learned in this six week. In week uh, from week seven to week nine, you will learn about energy and mineral resources and a study material that study material this uh, attempt to understand or to make you understand about the importance of natural resources, resource management, type of energy resources, non-renewable and alternative resources, mineral resources and sustainable issues related to energy and mineral resources. So in week 7, while you are trying to understand the renewable and non-renewable resources, you are able to understand the concept of natural resources and their importance. Global availability of resources, consumption patterns of different form of resources renewable and non-renewable resources. In week I, we learn about alternative energy resources, its various types, problem of utilizing various non-renewable resources, alternative source of energy in various ways by which our energy demand could be minimized. So in week 9, we are going to learn about mineral resources, uses pattern and issues. In the process of Learning all those concepts of mineral resource uses, pattern and issues, we will be able to understand an insight about the pattern and causes of mineral demand, the factor affecting mineral exploitation, classification of mineral resources, generation and management of different type of waste due to mining activities. Then, you will be able to discuss about ecological, environmental, and social impacts of mining. In addition to that, you will be able to learn the resource use pattern, sustainable uses of a resource, and various links associated with resource use depletion, environmental degradation, and sustainable issues, etc. In this week, from week 10 to 12, in that, in that, the major focus of your learning objective is to understand agro-biodiversity. Factor responsible for depleting agro-biodiversity, sustainable use of agro-biodiversity and sustainable management of biodiversity. In week 10, specifically in week 10, when we are trying to learn about importance of agrobiodiversity, we will be taken an overview or you will be able to learn an overview about the basic concept of agrobiodiversity, importance, implication of agrobiodiversity for sustainable uh, agriculture and climate changes. And week 11, you know, 
The basic focus is after learning about your basic concept of biodiversity in week 10. Now, in week 10, you will be able to learn about a comprehensive picture of different aspects of agrobiodiversity laws, factors that are responsible for depleting status of agrobiodiversity, effects of different agricultural practices on agrobiodiversity, and existing gaps in the current uh, that uh, knowledge in current status. So in week 12, last week of this course, it will the major focus will be on sustainable use of agrodiversity, agrobiodiversity, its challenges and the opportunity. And it will take you an insight of different aspects of sustainable use of this particular uh, that resources agrobiodiversity, different issues related to sustainable use of that plant animal genetic resources and their implication on food security and farmer livelihoods. Then we will be able to learn legislative framework related to protection of plant varieties for fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from the commercial use of agrobiodiversity in global and, and in Indian context. The role of community in agrobiodiversity con conservation will also be I mean, uh, properly reflected uh, uh, and properly will also be properly learned in context of agrobiodiversity. The implication of current global pattern of development of agrobiodiversity, the complex socioeconomic issues and identify major challenges and opportunities which have potential role to decide the future scenario of agrobiodiversity will also be learned in this uh, week 12. It also tries to explore the alternative ways towards sustainable management of agrobiodiversity. So in 12 uh, week, you will be learn those basic concepts of uh, ecosystem natural resources. The assessment methods of this course is, you know, continuous evaluation in the form of that compulsory assignment with a weightage of 30 percent and a time and examination with a weightage of 70 percent. So, enjoy the 12 weeks process of uh, the process of learning and uh, become our, uh, an expert or what we, I can say that, uh, try to explore more on basic of natural resource management. Thank you. Thank you.